The Olympic flame shone every four years, like the chosen one untouched by fears. In a world full of candles, he stands alone, his flame the brightest ever known. He starts walking a path unknown, untouched by candles, their lights not shown. But even alone, society's reflections shine, mirroring the candles of previous time. So chosen one, burn your flame. You can shine so bright in a world of all the same. In solitude, truth is found. That is where your flame knows no bound. The chosen one cannot be around other people. Exposing your desire to other people is like being a flame but becoming a candle. The Olympic flame reveals itself to the public every four years. Unlike the billions of candles, it only shows up 20 times in a lifetime. The truth is that the presence of candles will dim this burning flame inside of you. Any exposure to the candles will tame your flame. The chosen one cannot be exposed to candles, for if he does, he becomes a candle himself. You could have been this rare flare. You could have been this only flame, this big, so bright. Do you see what has happened to you, to us? By the way, I'm Jordan, did over $4 million in revenue, hired over 45 people. Started making videos in 2012, and I'm sharing how I grow my personal brand, achieve financial freedom, and find peace in my life. And I'm only sharing this because people seem to care about numbers, but it is effectiveness over appearance that matters. And the big disclaimer, never believe me, never believe anyone. Always ask yourself, find out for yourself if it is true. Never just accept something given from the people around you as truth because exposure to average will make you average. Like a virus, average spreads all over you. But unlike a virus, this poison is not felt. This poison is only felt by the chosen one. It is only felt in this moment of realization where you see things for what they are, that the candles around you have dimmed your flame. While you could have been the biggest flame the Olympics would have ever seen, you became a candle like all the other candles. You can be bought on Amazon. You smell like all the others. Which leaves me to a question that I have for you. Do you want to be the biggest candle amongst other candles? Or the rarest of fires in a world full of water? The serious person may think about that question. You see, everyone talked about the negative side of COVID-19. But to the chosen one, it has shown the power of isolation, quarantine, introspection. Isolation is a gift where legends are born. Or better said, where the chosen one even has a chance. Because in isolation, you still face your own mind. A mind that is polluted with conditioned beliefs from all these years. A mind that still mirrors the exposure of all those candle lights. Do you realize this? I mean, even when you spend time alone, your mind will reflect the words of the candles from previous years. Candle dad, candle friend, candle religion, candle teacher, candle celebrity. They will all tell you to be realistic. They will try to make you compare yourself and they will make you ask yourself, what if it doesn't work out? And any energy spent on these conditioned beliefs of those candles will dim your fire. Don't fall for the trap of trying to answer these questions or even entertain those ideas. Because if you do, you will return to Amazon's warehouse next to all the other candles. And it must be said that anyone who's watching this is not yet this Olympic fire, including me. You may be a large candle amongst medium ones. What I'm trying to say is that any wind can still blow your flame. Anyone can blow you out in a second. You must realize that the other people around you have an enormous impact or could have if you're not careful. You are extremely vulnerable. Do you see this? Reminds me of something Zlatan Ibrahimovic once said. I was listening, but I wasn't always following. But to Zlatan I would say, how great would you have been if you never listened at all? And my question to you is, how great of a flame would you be if no one ever extinguished you at all? If you never try to answer candle dad or listen to candle teacher, how great would you have been by now? From the big sun, there is only one. Distanced far from earth is where his rarity gave birth. It reminds me of a uh, quote from a poem of Charles Bukowski. Isolation is a gift. All the others are a test of your endurance of how much you really want to do it. And to that, I want to add 
all the others that are testing your endurance should be avoided at all costs because they are all slowing you down. I mean, why would you test your endurance if you're running a sprint? Why slow down so you can run with the crowd? You see this all the time, everywhere you go. A big one that recently fascinated me, and not in a positive way, are the cyclists of the Tour de France. I mean, how is it possible that in a race of four hours, they all end up sprinting against each other in the last second? They have four hours, and we need line technology to find out who won. The chosen one is the one who doesn't see limits any longer. It's the one who wins, but not by milliseconds, by minutes. And this person is maybe one in 100 million. This is why the chosen one walks alone. The chosen one has realized that every other human in his life has been water to his flame. And to that person I say, how great can your fire be if you stopped associating yourself with candles? That's it. Only the serious person may check the show notes.